Okay, this is an evaluation of the uh, new 70 centimeter band masthead preamp. Uh, the uh, preamp is now attached to a small stubby mast above the radio room and it's fed with a uh, antenna. You can see that just above in the video. Uh, this is known as a skew planar plane antenna. It's very popular with model aircraft enthusiasts uh, because the uh, antenna is not sensitive to uh, uh, polarization. Uh, it doesn't care what the polarization of the incoming signal is. So uh, it also would be good for uh, satellites which also uh, have uh, odd polarizations. So uh, the test should ideally be done with a uh, terrestrial beacon, it's a bit more stable, but uh, we don't have access to one in this location, so uh, we're going to use a Russian amateur satellite, RS-44, so uh, it will pass over shortly. Uh, its beacon frequency is in fact uh, 435.605 megahertz, but due to the uh, velocity of the spacecraft moving towards us, the Doppler shift will push it up about somewhere between 8 and 10 kilohertz. I'm, I'm not sure exactly, but we'll uh, tune around to find it. So uh, what we're hearing at the moment is just white noise without the uh, preamp switched in. With the preamp switched in, the noise level comes up. You may have the amplifier set with uh, too high a gain for what we're using it for, but uh, at the moment this is what we've got. Uh, it's for, set to um, full gain, which is giving us about uh, a noise level of uh, S3 and preamp off. Okay, the RS-44 satellite has just breached the horizon. It's about 40 degrees above the horizon now. And we can just hear the beacon without, without the preamp. This is the preamp on. Unfortunately, the uh, beacon's not continuous. But, uh, the spacecraft is uh, uh, 3,300 odd kilometres away. That's with the preamp on. Just wait for it. Preamp off. Yeah, you can just hear it down in the noise. The preamp certainly makes a lot of difference. Yeah, stick the preamp back on again. Quite a good test. The uh, satellite is actually quite low throughout the whole pass, so it's a relatively weak signal. And without the preamp, and with the preamp. Keep adjusting for Doppler shift. We're still over 3,000 kilometres away, passing over the uh, Indian Ocean. Beacon's quite strong.
just wait for it again so obviously the uh, masthead's off just hear it Like I say, it's unfortunate that we don't have a continuous beacon. It's almost as close as this satellite's going to get to us. It's um, 2,750 kilometres now. Fourteen degrees above the horizon. Off, just down in the noise. Waiting for the beacon again, and out the fire on. Preamp on again. Preamp off. Preamp on. So I was now moving past this and away. So we now down below the beacon frequency. So it's now 2,520 kilometres away and uh, moving away from us. Yeah, we can still hear the uh, beacon without the preamp. Wait for it to come up again. And with the preamp.
Well, I think that's uh, the test. Um, I think the preamp works all right. It certainly brings the noise level up. Uh, I still think it pulls the signal out of the noise sufficient to uh, justify it. Uh, in fact, uh, mostly the uh, signal from the uh, beacon is uh, almost undiscernible without the preamp. Right, that's the uh, okay. That's the uh, test evaluation of the uh, masthead preamp. I think it shows that it works at least uh, in the uh, CW analog mode. Uh, we will try it with uh, the ISS in uh, FM and uh, see where, whether we get uh, uh, much of an improvement there. But I'm quite happy with that. Alright, um, that's the uh, evaluation. Thanks for watching.